Make good win here, and eventually we will. Consider liking, subscribing, ring that bell for notifications if you do, so you can catch up on my latest content. So, if you're not familiar with my channel, I mostly do movie and TV show reviews, mostly in relation to superhero and video game adaptations, but comedy horror too, and various other films. I also do trailer reactions. Uh, with that said, WandaVision, a trailer for it dropped last night. This is one of the Disney Plus shows that I have been highly anticipating, mostly looking forward to, because I am a big fan of these characters. I really like them a lot, and I'm very curious. The trailer, the first glimpse we really got, just, uh, it looked so weird and wasn't sure what to make of it, but it was saying that it'd be kind of a sitcom and be going through different realities and all that. So with that said, let's just kind of get in here and take a look at it. I'm very curious to see how this looks because Wanda and Scarlet Witch and Vision have one of the strangest relationships that I'm familiar with in the comic books. It's such an unusual dynamic, and I'm very curious to see how they captured that on screen because they didn't do that so much in the movies. But I'm very curious to see how they're going to highlight this weird couple, how, how they're going to depict them on screen. And that has me just ready. So let's get into this real fast and see how it goes. Heavenly shades of night are falling. It's twilight time. Wanda and Vision. Oh, we have five paths. This is our home now. I want us to fit in. Oh, this is gonna be a gas! Where did you two move from? How long have you been married? And why don't you have children yet? Our story. I think what my wife means to say is that we moved from... Moved from where? Married when? Damn it, why? Oh, Arthur, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Why would you think that? Because you are. We are an unusual couple, you know. Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. All right, so let's just stop it there. Um, that was great. That. I, I, from what they said at the very end too, that that was perfect. That this looks like a perfect fit uh, it, for these characters. This, I know a lot of people are probably going to be off put by this, but uh, it was interesting to see that mom from the '70s show on here. I don't know her name, but uh, Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany, they are such amazing actors. They are amazing, and this looks like a perfect fit for the dynamic of Wanda and Vision. Um, it's got, you know, it gives you Fallout vibes from the start of the trailer with a classic feel to it. And it just has that wholesome, traditional, classic TV vibe. A time when families wore what mattered most. Uh, and it's got a Pleasantville feel to it too a, a film starring toby Maguire, sam remy spider-man which is still the best live action version in my opinion uh, but also it has elements of like bewitched and hocus pocus uh meets the crazies with with a glimpse of government on site uh so it feels like a mashup um and like i was saying some people will probably be off put by this it is very different than the mcu uh, which is why i am greatly looking forward to it and marvel has become very formulaic and safe not given uh you know not given much range like the dceu uh i like marvel and dc equally i really do but dc is allowed to do like small scale dramatic psychological takes like the joker and to Aquaman, 
which is kind of like a big budget action adventure Lord of the Rings slash Indiana Jones style uh, to a wholesome family or in it comedic somewhat dark fantasy like shazam was that's reminiscent of like big meets gremlins and and from that you go to the dark depressing takes of superman snapping necks in man of steel dc has just allowed so much more range so i think this one this particular show wanda wandavision I think this one will lay the groundwork for what Marvel is able to do moving forward. It kind of experimental. Yeah, and it will bleed right into Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness. Uh, uh, which was originally said to be straightforward horror until, you know, made to walk back those statements. But I think this one is going to play a real deciding factor. This one's kind of experimental outside of the normal Marvel stuff. Because like I said, Marvel's gotten very formulaic. So they kind of just do this one-two punch and get it done style of writing and films where it's become almost very played out. Still enjoyable, but I think this one's going to be a deciding factor in terms of what they can do in more expen uh, this one is kind of the experiment for that moving forward and i really hope that marvel you know, uh because things have ended and it, it's time for a new kind of marvel cinematic universe so hopefully they go a little bit more out of their comfort zo zone and take a few more risk now that we've reached that climax with in game that caps off that phase so Greatly looking forward to this. Really interesting. It looks like they captured the dynamic, the weird couple dynamic so perfectly. And I'm really curious to see where it goes, what all it does. And I'm not I'm not sure, but that may have been Monica Rambo, who should have actually been Captain Marvel first. We'll have to see who that character was. It could be somebody else. That I'm, I'm just unaware of that they have casted or set up. But I'm very curious. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. Do you like this? Do you feel like this isn't Marvel? Uh, this isn't Marvel. And no, no, you don't want it. Uh, I, I am extremely looking forward to this. I will review the hell out of this thing. Uh, I'm just excited. And hopefully we still get that this year. With that said, thank Goodwin here. Smash the like, consider subscribing, and stay awesome. Rock on.